I am very proud and happy uh, to have here uh, Satyendra Pakare, a friend, and that starts with us a great challenge with a new extensible table uh, starting from 2010-2011. Uh, and actually we are in Milano in 2015 and uh, the dream is reality and uh, part of the dream also Vittorio the founder my father uh, so I give uh, the word also to Vittorio and after later to Satyendra. È una grande soddisfazione quella di aver fatto questo tavolo perché è una sfida che con Sant'Andrea noi abbiamo voluto e abbiamo iniziato tanti anni fa no? Eh, però questa sfida oggi l'abbiamo vinta e l'abbiamo vinta in maniera molto brillante è venuto fuori un pezzo di un'estrema eleganza eh, tra l'altro non dispiace anche di un costo contenuto ma credo che sia uno dei più bei pezzi che ci sono oggi sul mercato grazie a te, grazie alla tua costanza, alla tua perseveranza, alla tua volontà perché hai dimostrato veramente che lo volevi fare anche hai avuto delle difficoltà ma hai saputo affrontarle e superarlo molto bene grazie, ci hai fatto veramente tanto piacere yeah. Thank you, Mr. Levy. Uh, I think uh, this project was a, a real journey. Thank you that you all appreciate. Um, it has um, uh, been a challenge. O often we think, well, everyday objects have been made for hundreds, thousands of years, and uh, why another thing? And here is a wonderful possibility, and uh, a possibility where somebody envisions a, a, a everyday object, which we take it for granted, that's a table. Uh, into something which is never thought of, a material. Now, this is a pioneering reality where FIAM, thanks to Vittorio's early work, the founding work, where something completely new has been envisioned, that is to make an everyday object into a material which has amazing sense of future, amazing sense of accuracy, and to create a new reality that is the something really, when you look at the table, look at the glass object, it really makes you think about future. And for me, that was a very exciting thing to do. And I knew the difficulties, I knew the challenges. And for me, that is the true industrial design, uh, where you have those challenges. And finally, you make an object, a product, which will make sense in sense of its own existence, in terms of how it is used, how it appears, how it feels, but also in a sense of it becomes uh, industrial possibility, that it becomes accessible to people, that it can be producible in certain way and it is becomes uh, uh, manufacturable at certain costs as well. Now all of these factors we managed to achieve here and, and to still come with the, with, the, with the image of a product which really resonates future, you know. And uh, we set out to do that, to create an invisible three meter long table, which is a long span. Uh, which has absolutely nothing in between and a very compact mechanism which can be just simply operated with one single button, one single the knob. Please, Daniele, go ahead. <coughs> Wonderful. Great. So such kind of a compactness, just from two meter going to the three meter, I think this is, a, this is a beautiful possibility and it can have application in all kind of places from uh, domestic environment to office environment and thanks to the material itself which is such a fantastic material because it disappears. It's such a big table but visually it's nothing at the same time. Pure and elegant. Thank you. Grazie Sandy Endra, grazie. Thank you. Thank you.